This is Aaron Fisher, Technology Integration Facilitator for the East Bridgewater Public Schools, and this is an overview of how one could use Google Docs as a running blog. Let's say we're going to have student writing, and maybe you want students to keep a running journal um, in Google Docs. Well, you could kind of make it look like a blog, which may engage some of your students a little more, and I'm going to give you access to this template. But basically what I did was I used the title, which can be found here, and heading functions, which can be found here, here, and here. And what I did was I used September, all the month names, as headings. So the months are heading one. And then I made the posts, which you can have students edit or you can edit the master, as headings two. And I did every month, and I did four posts per month, and I used little um, emojis, which I did insert special characters and searched out the emojis, so pumpkin or Halloween rather. And you can see some pop up, some don't. There's my apple for September. Um, so I did use the emojis there, or you can use the emoji keyboard on a Chromebook. Um, and then when you pull open this outline, you get, you know, your title, which you can retitle this if you wish. And I get my months and I can click to any posts in my outline and it will bring me there. I can also use this tool. You'll notice I have a table of contents and I simply did an insert. I did an insert table of contents and I chose it as blue links. Now what it does is it pulls all of the headings that are here as links. So what I can do now is if you have, if you're keeping this as a running document and you want students maybe to pass in a post from May onto Google Classroom, they can simply right click and they can get the link of that particular post. So post two, if I click post two in my table of contents, I get a link right here. So I can copy that link and pass in just post two from May if you want to collect it that way. You can also see the running doc as it goes. So I use table of contents, the add-on magic rainbow unicorn for the title with some different fonts here. And then simply below the headings one and two. And you can go deeper too with heading three if you so wish. There are some options here and you can also do some um, formatting with the line spacing. You can remove spaces if you need them, if you need to tighten up your spacing on this. And I always recommend too, to take your tools, word count, put your word count on. That way children can see or students can see how long their writing is as they type. When you enter down to actually post, you can post here. And then when students start writing, notice it goes to normal text and it goes to normal type. So you don't have to worry about resetting font or anything of that nature. Enjoy using Google Docs as a blog. Thank you.